about you. You know, everybody has this thing with, oh, um, I'm self-made. I do it on myself. I get it on myself. And it's like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. But, you know, we all have our different ways of looking at that and measuring that. Yeah. So, you know, I don't knock anyone who says it, but from my own standpoint, I could never say that I did it myself because even if it's, um, you know, my lowest point that I didn't understand how I was going to figure it out. And it was the grace of God. I wasn't by myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming established artists. Today, we got a familiar face in the building. Welcome to the show. Let's hey, what's going show. on? Thanks for having me. Yeah, in case y'all don't know, this is a voiceover. You know, she got the commercials on Best of the Best TV, and she's just a hustling, but beep, I'm gonna beat that out, but you know, so formally introduce yourself. Y'all know what it is, Finest Wine Crystal here, better known as Ice the Stylist. I'm just here with your boy Sir Quentin today to talk Finest Wine, Finest Wine Arrangements LLC and all of the great things we got going on. So what is Finest Wine? Finest Wine is short for Finest Wine Arrangements LLC, which is my business that I established 2020 during the pandemic. Um, in short, it's a collaboration of creative outlets for me to provide products and service that over time enhance uh, lifestyle choices and- Hence the name Finest Wine. You, you kind of smooth, that's, that's dope, that's dope, that's absolutely. dope. So uh, where the name derived from? Like, how did you stumble up on that name? Because like, you you, you patented the name. You like, everybody here Finest Wine in the city and they know who that is, you know what I'm saying? So how did you compare that to, you know, to, to your LLC or, you know, put it all together? Well, I put it all together because anybody who really knows me knows that I have many names, you know, it's, it's Icy Diamond, it's Crystal, it's Diesel Marie. And I was really looking for a way to embrace my real name um, when, I, when it comes to adding a face to a name, when it comes to business and I've always thrived off consistent progression. And when you think of wine and when you think of fine wine, you know, you think of vintage, you think of classic, you think of uh, grapes and fruits and wellness and luxury. Mm -hmm. And over time, it just ages well. You know, black don't crack. Yeah, if I, and, you know, you, see, you just, sit here looking like a teenager right now uh, in the yeah, face, you know, you know what I'm saying? Gotta, gotta transform you when necessary. Me? So what What all products, like, is all under the finest wine? Like, what, what all categories you can, I, I, I know you, but you gotta let the best of the best know, like, Thanks all the products. That's you know, a, thank you, that's yeah. a great question. Well, initially it was candles and custom poetry. Mm -hmm. um, but now absolutely it's an umbrella for many things such as my candles of course which is custom hand poured scented candles um, which people are able to reach out to me to place orders and I will be soon to uh, drop some photos of some candles that people will be able to purchase online. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's also incorporated with positive motivational speaking, which I'm looking to really launch my career towards where I'm able to have a positive influence on all types of groups, mm -hmm. whether it be business seminars, youth programs, um, as well as things with my peers and um, other motivational outlets. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, additionally, in addition to yeah. that, um, I'm like, you got the hair. Is that under the same yes, LLC absolutely. too? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, I've been doing hair for 23 years now, which I jumped off the porch doing that. And I've gone back and forth between mobile services and shop services, working on what works for me. So right now during the holiday season, I'm definitely working on mobile services and establishing something with people who are looking for, um, you know, maybe if they have small groups, coaching small teams or small childcare or people with special needs services, I'm able to accommodate them. 
Yeah, absolutely. So in case y'all just now tapping in, we're kicking it with Finest Wine, Crystal, Diesel, all them other names that she got, a woman of finest many wine. hats, you know. So uh, y'all y'all stay tapped in. We got to pay some bills. Commercial break. Yeah, stay tapped. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. Yo, yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break. We're kicking it with Finest Wire Crystal. Um, so... What's where, going on, y'all? <laughs> going on, y'all? So where did where did it all start? Like like what 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 made this whole venture start? Well, what made everything get started with me doing hair was just being young, you know, being an '80s baby. We know we had to get it out the mud, wasn't no way around it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, started doing hair in the hallways at school with an ink pen. No way. Yeah. I just pictured that right in my head when you yeah. said it. Like, oh, I had lunch period, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'd get this side so out get the me way. Together. <laughs> yeah, so it, it really did start there, you know, just with learning how to make a quick $10. Real. And over the years, you know, the price definitely has gone way up. <laughs> um, Yesterday's prices are not today's prices. That part, for real. <laughs> uh, so that's where that started. And just having to have something that worked for me through all of the nine to fives, the five the nines the 12 the 12s the weekends the seasonal positions doing hair mm -hmm. has always been my primary go-to hustle that has made me be able to maintain and persevere through ups and downs and then when it comes to the candles it was just something i like to do as a child as well just used to get mm. the little kits and stuff wanting to pour it um poetry writing i've always tapped into that since i was young um um, in my young childhood ages and things like that. So writing and different projects like that, that have always come to me naturally have inspired me to, and you know, utilize my opportunity to encourage other people, right. you know, which comes naturally to me. Absolutely. You know, anybody who knows me knows that anything they've had going on, I've done what I could to support them, whether I've shared it, <laughs> you, showed you're up. telling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, real. for yeah, real. Yeah, so. Facts. Um, I just wanted to incorporate my positive influence and things like that when it came to my candles. Like, what sets my candles aside? Like, right. well, um, you know, I'm making them with all the peace and love and positivity and good intention, first of all, yeah. and the aromatherapies and things like that that come with it, you know, attribute to those things as well. Um, and with the motivational speaking that that all taps in and they all tie in together you know just me wanting to make a global impact in a positive way mm -hmm. and wanting to leave behind or walk into people who've been influenced and encouraged and motivated and inspired to say you know what if she could do it i can too mm. and even if she didn't go through it i'm happy that she had a way to encourage me and impact me to help me to better believe in myself mm. and that's important to me you know reach one teach one if i could reach one person that's good enough for me because yeah. i got five kids who look in any way and Fires. you know i gotta stay there where it's important Fires. even if i'm not encouraging y'all i got five other people that that i'm encouraging first and foremost, first and foremost real strong. so um it, you got like I, I'm, I'm speaking and i could attest it, it's kind of hard to stay motivated so like who inspires you behind the brand like everything that you got going on like who is someone you look to like okay i gotta i gotta keep it moving keep it pushing um well you know just not because I'm on your platform right now, but, you know, just honored to be here as well. You are one of those people and who've my been dog. one of those people, my, my dog, dog, you yeah, know, who yeah. has impacted me and inspired me to say, you know what, there's, you know, there is always a way and there is always the tools and the resources around us that we can start with. Um, it's been people like 
um LaCue Styles shouts out to her and her Shout positive LaCue. impact you know you know she she's been doing great things she was a stylist way back in the day mm -hmm. um when I was first to even try to tap into working in a shop who gave me an opportunity wow. when she was up on North Avenue. So shout out to her for, you know, seeing a young sister who's trying and still being that person years later. Yeah. Um, she's been a positive impact. People like, um, <sighs> you know, Nas and network. Tiana Taylor, yeah. you know, people who She's worldwide. You know, yeah, abso level. absolutely. Um Denzel Washington and Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Um Man, All those. Angela Bassett is is so many different people who have showed like over the years, like, you know, you can be impactful in your own way by being yourself and still, you know, wanting to say something to other people to let them know, like, nah, it ain't no excuses. Yeah. Get yeah, to it. Let's yeah. let's make it happen. And and my siblings absolutely Jeez. um have been impactful. I'm the fourth of nine. And and throughout everything going on recently, them showing that, you know, no matter what we came from, no matter how we had to raise ourselves, no matter what we've had to withstand from our um our parents impact by these generational curses out here mm -hmm. we're still able to establish businesses for ourselves we're still Roger able to that. take care of our families and despite any trials and tribulations we go through as people as family or as business people um all we have is each other yeah so you know that that's been definitely an inspiration for me to set that example for yeah, my that's, children that's beautiful that's beautiful because um on that same subject, you know, I, I try to explain to people is I've came to the realization that you really do need people. You need people around you. And, um, you know, it's real easy. Even social media promotes, you know, you could do it yourself. You could you could be you could do it. You know what I'm saying? But like you just, you know, no, you, it's, that, like, you know, everybody has this thing with, oh, um, I'm self-made. I do it on myself. I get it on myself. Geez. And it's like, OK, that's cool. Yeah. But, you know, we all have our different ways of looking at that and measuring that. Yeah. So, you know, I don't knock anyone who says it, but from my own standpoint, I could never say that I did it myself yeah. because even if it's, um, you know, my lowest point that I didn't understand how I was going to figure it out. And it was the grace of God. I wasn't by myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you put Allah first and you allow him to lead you in life you recognize that he places people in our lives Man, in certain areas listen. to allow us to see that we don't have to do it by ourselves yes and and, and that's where we become you just humble. saw what you're gonna do with those yeah people. so I, I i really value um teams and and, and a lot of times not to cut you off but a lot of times that um Keep 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 that in, in mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times uh, we're listening to people who are already up. You know what I'm saying? Who's saying like I'm I'm by myself. I, I I did it alone or I'm alone or something like that. And they never tell you the full story. You can't put it in the song. You know I cut people off or I I cut them off or something like that. But most of the yeah. times they're at a place where you can quote unquote be alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where you already straight man. Your accountant handling and everything. But that still needs somebody. But yeah, but and I do on. understand yeah. being sat down sometimes to say like you know what God needs to have this one on one with me or I need to learn this lesson or right. I need to pull myself up out of this and it's so easy for us to point the blame at other people and be mad at other people and say oh I'm I'm set back because of this and you yep, know but yep. when really it's for us to learn a lesson yep, yep. it's for us to really learn from it and learn something and when we apply what we've learned through those lessons and those different chapters of our lives that's where we're using that discernment yep. and we're able to level up Roger and that. you know that's why it's like my so biggest while, when we're talking about like like learning and learning from people like who has been some of your mentors along this journey the entrepreneurship Ooh, um you mentioned a couple of them but that, yeah, you, i mean it's safe to you could re-mention yeah them too. like and and when it comes to mentorship you know somebody that i've really been able to like talk to and confide in and use guidance um yourself 
you know, and I can appreciate that, you know, it's, it's been a big project for me to uh, put my pride to the side a little bit and open up again after running into a lot of lo roadblocks that were discouraging. Yeah. So, you know, with a lot of your positive influence and, you know, just reminders um, that has been helpful. My children, um, my children's ha ha my children have mentored me in the I sense love that. of... I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah, in the sense of a lot of people feel like, you know what, stay in a child's place. I've been there. My dog, day, you don't put know it better there. than me. And it's like, shoot, these kids, they ages ahead of us Listen. and they have other ways of saying things and seeing things and bringing them into perspective for us. Yep. So that we could better utilize our platforms in front of us. Yep. So where I was struggling to market and apply what I learned about marketing and promoting and things like that, my kids are like, no, Ma, come on, look, you could do this like this. Like, nope, you could skip past that. Thanks. We could try this. And, you know, that's why they're my biggest motivation and inspiration of all. Um, but my other mentorship has probably been through like a lot of um a lot of those motivational videos and things like that, motivation hubs and um, positive self-talk. You know, I've been having a mentor myself. I've been having to see through experience of my peers mm -hmm. and what they're doing. I've had to use their um, the action that I like. Who about that action? Yeah, that has been my mentorship because I'm motivated by being proactive right. and being productive. Right. You know, so when I see that around me, I'm like, okay, yeah, I needed that. Right. Because I see that they went through something too and they still Jeez, got through yeah, it. Yeah, they still doing it. In case y'all just now tapping in, we with Finest Wine Crystal. We got our word segment coming up right after this commercial break. Y'all stay tapped in. Yo. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at finewine underscore ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, thank you for still tuning in at the commercial break. We're kicking it with Finest Wine Crystal with uh like 82 different LLCs. If you want to find her, you know, just go to the U.S. government. No, I'm just playing. But uh, we had our word segment um, where we spin the wheel and we have a word that we land on and it's all personal words. So we're going to pick the brain of Finest Wine Crystal today to see how she feel about these personal words. Okay, let's go. Three spins. Know, First spin. Go videos. ahead. Hard as you can. We got hustle. The word is hustle. So what are we about to do with hustle? You want me to spit? Nah, I don't want you to spit about hustle. I want you to tell us like how do you feel about the word hustle? Like what is, how does it apply to your life? Oh, I embody that. What <laughs> I wake up, eat, breathe, and cook hustle. Uh, it's important to me to represent that because I have five kids who watching everything I do. So it's all about finding solutions and not excuses. Um, never, mm. never going home empty handed. Um, making sure that I can mm. pay those bills mm. um, and not have to ask anybody for something. So uh, for a lot of people over the years who told me that I was doing too much, that I need to go sit down somewhere. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. Thank you, because I made time for that. And I went and sat down somewhere and organized the plan to do all of that. So when hair season got slow, I started making candles. Yeah. And when candle sales wasn't so fast, I stored them yeah. and um, preserved them while I went ahead and Jeez. invested in myself. And, you know, it's just hustling to me Jeez. means that if you really know turning turning that nickel to a to a dime to a quarter to a half oh to a my pound God, listen. and 
and looking up like, dang, we could have a pound party in our league. <laughs> but when we all grown up, we recognize that we don't have to take those chances. So yes, hustling Lord. to me now means that I don't have to be in the streets yeah. um, fighting for my life and my freedom and taking penitentiary chances that I can invest that same money and you can too into uh, LLCs and products and materials and workspaces and locations to make sure that you could represent your brand freely, independently, and um, confidently. And yeah, hustling to me means setting that in stone and making sure that over time for generations to come that I could leave that legacy behind. For Holy you. moly, I heard the I heard the I heard the motivational speaking come out yeah, of you. Yeah, I heard it right. Yeah, like, you know, we you know, had conversations and conversations. You <laughs> listen, next man. <minute. laughs> Love. Peace and love, Islam. I didn't say part. peace. I said love. No, it they says love. It same. says love. You know, love yeah. for me means that I can't have It does have mean peace, peace, though. I'll cut you off. Uh, it's your word. No, say you me good. right. Like, you, know, you know how we do. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got my favorite colors over there. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I switched it up. Ready you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> um, but no, love to me means that I can put smiles on the faces of the people that I truly care about. Um, love to me means that there is no questioning that my intentions are good. And love to me is my family, you know? And the things that I I invest in over time for the sake of like my career, the things that I'm passionate about, I could say, mm. I should say, um, that's that's what love is to me, being able to express freely in those areas. Right, right. All right, let's get that third spin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's what I was going to ask. Make the third one hard. Yeah, you know. Oh, we got hustle again. It's calling your name. One more spin. Hey. Come on, you I heard that motivational speaking when you said it. Oh, longevity. What does that mean to you? Longevity to me means fine as wine. <laughs> That's what that means Listen. to me. <laughs> Listen. Longevity to me means that everything I'm working on will stand to whole structure and um the tools and resources for generations to come Man, for my family and for talk. those who are impacted by everything that i'm influential with mm -hmm. longevity means being better over time like my brand as well because in order to have longevity we have to make lifestyle choices that are healthy for us and it's not always about drugs and alcohol it's about ways of living it's about people and the energy that we have around us mm -hmm. um, because when we choose to surround ourselves with people we also choose to embrace what they have going on as well and it's sad to see so many of our loved ones pass away and gone so to me longevity means being able to not just live a lasting life for myself by making healthier eating habits and living habits and things like that, but also to have that impact on other people and to try to show other people how to have longevity Factuals. as well. Factuals. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We had a word segment with finest wine crystal, fine, with longevity crystal, if you will. <laughs> you feel me? So, um, okay, you kind of briefly touched on like, you know, these, these healthy practices. So like, what are some like self-care practices that you implement or activities that you practice to stay focused and consistent? Um, I would have to drop say, them gems. Meditating on a regular uh, writing and speaking positive affirmations have been something that really has kept my mind positive and my energy balance. Um, trying to speak those things into my children because we know that um, our children are sometimes our hardest walls to break through, mm -hmm. um, to, to get a room full of listening ears. So, you know, I've been practicing group 
positive affirmations and things like that with my children. I, I've been doing a lot of cleansing, like I've gone from seasonal cleansing to, you know what, every week, let's fill up a bag of stuff we don't need and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. On top of, you know, the day-to-day -day garbage going out, yeah. you know, let's yeah. just continue to yeah. give stuff it's away. So it's always somebody that needs something. Yeah. Um, and doing those things have, you know, you know they've been they've been keeping me together, make, making sure that I keep a consistent stream of income coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, yeah, I, I like to cook. Um, that's something that that keeps me at peace. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't don't realize that um, it's like it's a clean. It is a clean house. It is um, actually doing everything you love additional to the hustle you yeah. know the hustle like the hustle that's that's personal but like when you you got all these thoughts rushing through your brain <laughs> you gotta it, it, on top of that you could look at something like you said like some clothes some shoes that don't belong in a house and it could be driving you crazy and it could impact the hustle in such a crazy way right that's absolutely. crazy especially having kids you know yeah it's that it's Ooh. a day-to-day -day battle yeah. you know I, and and i don't mind being a mom that washes dishes and laundry um but yeah. kids will make you feel like it's a just a relentless chore sometimes <laughs> yeah fast. so you know i'm just you know implementing teaching them to apply themselves high right. five and hand clap on that yeah uh, but Jeez. yeah, so some of, some of my practices, yeah, actually do a high five. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and a hand clap, to, yeah. to the world though, yeah, for real. So um, all these hustles, all these the, like, what is what's been some of the biggest challenges with keeping this afloat? Um, I would have to say workspace development. Uh, just tying in so many different ideas and ripping and running all over the place with work-life balance and mm. um, adulting and parenting balance and things like that. Um, establishing the right workspace in the right location at the right price has mm. been, you know, my biggest battle, but I think I've been doing okay. Yeah, I think you have too. You are best of the best TV. Hey. <laughs> so, um, like uh, tell best of the best TV like some of the like some of the projects that you working on, some stuff that you got brewing up. Yes, some, some well, candles you got uh, poured up in the back that we don't know about. Or, yeah, you know. some stuff y'all, you <laughs> so, know, a few yeah. people might know about, but a lot of y'all are coming to learn. I've been doing some voiceovers with your boy Sir Quentin with Best of the Best. <laughs> Mr. Shut Up and Hustle, yeah, and um, I've been having some fun with getting back in the booth, making some music. I've been writing. I got two books coming out. Um, stay tuned for that. And, you know, just with the candles, like I said, custom creative candles, anything you could think of if you want your different uh, colors incorporated or your favorite fragrances. If you need a set for your kitchen or your bathroom or even just a candle that you might even like in your car. Um, I can make those. I can create intentional candles and I can also create memorials where it'll be uh, candles and poetry incorporated together if you're able to, you know, have a small consultation as well prior to that. Um, you know, just, just some things like that. Like I said, if there's anybody interested in having a motivational speaker or somebody for some workshops on Fridays and Saturdays, mm -hmm. those days work for me, as well as needing uh, hair care services for maybe special needs clients, youth clients, or people who need just a little more time to get their hairstyle accomplished. Yeah, absolutely, man. She going crazy with the with the hair, the candles. I ain't getting no candle. I need a candle, damn it. Can I get a candle? Yeah, I've been working on that. I gave you a gift sometimes. Don't act like oh, okay, yeah. I come bearing gifts because, you know, yeah. shouts out to people who, yeah, who yeah. are supporting and yeah. who I'm like that. I like that. Yeah, I, you know, so, I like yeah, candles, man. I like the smell of... There's a few people who are like, hold on now. Man. I said something last year and yeah. it was that workspace development. Yeah, Trust that workspace. Me. But we we uh, we working on that behind the scenes. You just yes. got she just got and the I've uh, been with some people. It's just you know the right location and yeah. all that. You got the lab in Not your crib. You, you got your you got your microphone and all that set yes. up. So y'all get at her with the voiceover work. She yes. does excellent work. Um, candles, the hair. She doing all of it. So like you got the music too. The music, yes. the, not too, but you have the music. 
as well. Also, I want to I want to say where it's not the in two, the background. The two O's, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, who, like, who do you see yourself working with, like, artist wise, uh, worldwide, local? You got them uh, flows. We we got yeah, some shit on the flow, but yeah, like, yeah, and, and, and you know, you know, that stems from a while back because initially, you know, I've always been inspired by people like Nas and Jada Kiss and Ooh, you know geez. Pac and geez. uh the the rod diggers and eves and missies and you know so i it, it goes back and i was doing music in the in the lab at home back in the day about 12 13 years ago on the daily and we we was doing so much work and we just you know life just all right all right cuz all yeah. right bro we see you later and yeah. it's you will look up like dang years go by so now you know i'm really looking to collaborate with some people and um you know like you said and and like i said doing some voiceover doing some commercials doing some seminars um r&b rap whatever instrumentals you know or live band i should say yeah um but yeah i'm 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 with it yeah. i'm excited about it it's that time well, you see who you see yourself working with locally in milwaukee right now all right y'all don't shoot me in the foot because i ain't finna no, name this is everybody non-judgment zone. You know, <laughs> non-judgment zone but just some quick people come to mind um I'm going to for sure do some work with Mecca. I want to do some work with JR Scales. I wouldn't mind working with um, Destiny Lynn, Black Aladdin. Um, it, it's so many people locally that I work with if we could find the right time on the right schedule. Right. But yeah. um, tracks, I do some because I, cause I do want to do some with some R&B. Yeah, facts. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for somebody with like a a John Legend type of Man. The, the male rap. Especially raspy with that hook you like, spit to me the other day. Yeah. Like, hold on. You know, that's I work with that's Von, different. You know, with Von Mays. Nice. Man, it, it's a lot of people, you know. I work with whoever gonna, you know, who gonna come at me proper with respect and, you Facts. know what I'm saying, let's get productive and get that work Facts. done. Facts, and make sure that when I leave that dough, man, there's some money on the flow. You yeah, feel me? Like, absolutely. At least, at least absolutely. a, a, a wish know, or a dream, that, that, man. Make it sound good or something. That's where that peak come in. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, so uh no, yeah, in case y'all just stop tapping in, that. we kicking it with finest wine crystal. So um it's real important that you um that you well you hold a leadership role already. I'm gonna put that on the floor. But like why is it so important for you to leave like that that leadership trait for yourself, if you will? I'm trying to verbalize that yeah. right. I feel obliged to uh, maintain, excuse me, lip gloss. Um, I feel obliged to maintain my position as a leader because, you know, when you know better, you do better. Mm. Moving and doing things from a place of experience and knowing that I can say, you know what, I've been there before and I know what that's like. Mm. And in knowing that, why not? instill some type of platform to where i can help others mm. you know and if i can teach someone else to do that as as a leader does you know mm -hmm. um then that'll be set in place to where later you know i could sit back and i can continue to be the student yeah Whew. she's 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 okay yeah that, that fried my brain right there because that was i i, I i'm I think I had it in my brain that, that I felt that type of way, but you just verbalized it and that was completely different, man. Okay, so y'all kicking it with Finest Wine Crystal and Sir Quinn. Um, get, get your shout outs, man. Get your shout outs. Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Make sure y'all hit me up, get connected with me, follow me. Finest Wine Crystal on Facebook, Fine Wine underscore Ice on Instagram. Get in touch with me. Like I said, we can do music, we can collaborate, we can do motivational speaking. You can order ca candles for me uh, from me excuse me for events for parties for seminars for baby showers weddings um 
again memorials and things like that i'm really tapped in and tuned in to make it a custom creative collaborative positive experience and again finest wine is all about being better over time and you know let's let's dance let's get money let's have fun and and let's teach these young people that they could have fun getting money too and you know we could really lead the way together yeah and that's, that's first and foremost is uh you know teaching the kids that man like you could be out here getting some cheese and getting your cheese and having fun with what you doing. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't think, a lot of kids don't think that's, that's fun. Like, like the entrepreneurship route, like they all got talents out here. It's just for up to us to discover it and direct it, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to cut off of what you were saying, no, but you yeah, you already know what time it is, man. We're kicking it with Finest Wine Crystal on Best of the Best TV. Y'all make sure y'all in, stay tapped in to the singer, songwriters, and producers competition that we have on the page. Um, we got some stuff going on with Roku, too. Uh, pray for that. And you already know what time it is. Sir Quinn kicking it with Finest Wine Crystal, bestofthebesttv.com. We in here. Shh. Shut up and hustle. All of my good day still in the struggle. Flexing on dicks with money, no muscle. I'm pretty so good with using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, set up and hustle. Well, that's wrong, and you niggas in trouble. The 40 state took ain't no time, no tussle. I'm fucking them gone, ain't no time to call. I tell them, like, sir, set up and hustle. Shut up, shut up and hustle.